Hi all, hope you've had a blessed day today. Today I'd like to talk about Colossians chapter 3 verse 2. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. There's a reason we're reminded about this, to keep our hearts and minds focused on heavenly things and not on earthly pursuits. It's because we have been raised up into a new life in Christ. We have become a brand new creation. And because we have exchanged our earthly home for new citizenship in heaven. Since we have been raised to a new life in Christ by God's grace, we have been given the free gift of eternal life. We've been showered with so many blessings. We are called to set our heart and mind on heaven where Jesus sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. And because we are in Christ by virtue of our faith, we also are seated in heavenly places, for we are in Christ. Have you ever found yourself doing something that was boring, uncomfortable, or extremely difficult? When we find ourselves in those situations, our first reaction might be to complain or walk away or just out and out quit. Sometimes these mundane tasks and everyday responsibilities can feel like we're wasting our time and energy. But the truth is, everything we do matters to God. As Colossians chapter 3 verse, verses 23 to 24 say, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. As working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. It's for this reason that we are called to keep our minds on things that are above and not be influenced by the earth. We are to live by trusting in Jesus and not trusting in our own selves. We are to find our sufficiency in Christ knowing that in this world, we will have trials and tribulation. But Christ already overcame the world. And we have an incredible inheritance that can never spoil or fade away. An inheritance that is kept in heaven, especially for us. If we view life through a lens that only concerns ourselves, very quickly, we're going to grow tired of our circumstances and we'll be disappointed by all the striving that we do and never getting anywhere. But if we view life through a lens of worship, nothing in this life will give us more joy than serving Jesus. If everything in life becomes about him, then everything in life becomes worth doing and doing it well. Our lives belong to Jesus. Our whole world becomes about him, his purpose and his glory. When we do everything with Christ in mind, he never fails to bless us with his love and grace. And one day, we will get eternal reward for our faithful service. So, as you think about the work God has put in front of you, consider what it would mean to do everything for him. And then ask yourself, in what ways can I honor God and inspire others today? Remember, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. God bless you all.